Hello everybody, Spellzy back again with another quick video. So if you guys have been playing Mindscape for any length of time, you'll notice that during peak hours, the ping is just sometimes totally unbearable, which sucks because it's a really fun server to play on, but it really can ruin your experience. So, well, today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can kind of fix that ping issue. And um, hopefully this video will age well and this will constantly be a thing. But um, for now, in case you're curious about what launcher I'm using, I am using the Java edition of Minecraft with the Mindscape.me add-ons from the Twitch app. Um, I am just using this version right here. And you should totally use this. And if you do, it'll pop up with this page right here. So it says play AU, play NA, play EU, right? If you go ahead and hit play NA, because I'm an NA and it is 6 p.m. on a Sunday right now, you guys will most likely see some insane ping. So um, for the record, I'm very certain that ping is mostly related just to whatever proxy you choose, not the world. Um, or it might be a small combination of both. But let's just go to World 5 for now, and we'll just do World 5 for the entirety of this video. Okay. Now, just so you guys know, the ping is going to be displayed right there, okay? It'll take just a second to, to update, but let's just go ahead and let's just kind of do our own thing for a little bit. I want to at least show you guys how bad the ping is on this before we hop on into the other uh, server, just so that that way you guys know. And I'm already jumping around like crazy, and that guy is jumping around. Oh my god, this is rough. Okay, this is, yeah, this is terrible. So the ping itself hasn't even said that it's bad, but I'm sure once it updates, it'll say it's about out of 1,000, because I can't even move you up. There we go, we're 823 ping for all intents and purposes, this is actually completely unplayable. Um, there's nothing that you can do. It is horrible and miserable. So here is the way around it. Now, the guy who runs the server has added what are called proxies. These proxies are basically just like sub-connections to the server. So this is Mindscape.me. But what you can do is you can add a little prefix to it and change which server you connect to manually. So right now, I'm technically on the US1 server. Um, and US1 is the default, which is why the ping's so high, because everybody keeps joining it. So let's go ahead and head on out and I'll show you guys the options for if you're in NA and then I'll also go over a couple of the EU options as well. So at a quick glance, this is the server that we were on. It says that I only had seven milliseconds of ping, but we saw that that was totally bullshit and absolutely not the case. However, what we can do is we can go ahead and add a different server um, just to, you know, just to show you guys in case you're new to the whole Minecraft thing, right? Like right here, this is Mindscape.me, this is what we were connected to. This is miserable, right? This is awful. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste this, okay? And I am actually going to go ahead, for the video, I'm just going to go ahead and delete these two right here, okay? So these are the three servers that you have. This is the US server, this is the EU server, and this is the AU server, but we're going to go ahead and add proxies. And before we do the proxies, I'm going to show you guys where you can find these, so that way this video will never, you know, age out or expire. So in the description, you can see that there is a Discord link um, for how to get to the um, uh, Mindscape Discord. And under minor news right here, this guy, um, the, the Black Bandit, the guy who uh, has uh, programmed the server, has added new proxies, and he updates you guys here. Um, this might be in rules as well. Yep, current IP list, Mindscape.me, which is what we connected to, US2, US3, EU, EU2, and AU, okay? Now, if you weren't on Discord, you would think that just EU, AU, and regular Mindscape.me is the only options, but that is very clearly not the case. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in all of those proxies that we have right here, and I'm going to go ahead and do this. So we're going to go ahead and add those proxies. Let's go ahead and let's just delete all of this. Cool, we're awesome. Even hit refresh, okay. So if you're at this page right here, okay, in order to find your proxies, you click this little button to the left of close, and it'll pop up with this, okay? So it's that one, it's the one that looks like there's three heads right there, go ahead and click that. And this should pop up, all right? We, let's see if I can go ahead and close out the member list, awesome, okay. We are gonna go ahead and add these little IPs right here, okay? We're gonna go ahead and add this one, direct connect, I'm just kidding, I'm sorry. Add server. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and hit enabled. We're also going to add US2. Actually, better yet, I'm going to add EU server first. Just because I like my servers being listed by which ones are going to be the most common ones that people are connecting to. I'm going to go ahead and add a server again. Enabled, done. And then let's go ahead and add us2 enabled let's go ahead and add us3 
enabled. And we'll go ahead and add EU2. And enabled. Now when there's high traffic, sometimes this little ping thing doesn't give you like a good idea. I think this just pings the server once, so it's not like a stable ping. It's just a matter of how far you are away. So obviously since I'm in America and I'm on the East Coast, 122 milliseconds ping is probably pretty accurate for where Germany is. And then for Australia, like 195 is probably pretty accurate too. And if you just kind of hold it over there, like, you know, you can you can see that like the US servers obviously are going to have less ping, okay? Now, again, you click on this button right here to get back to this, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try US2 and just see where we're at. And if that's a good ping for me, then we'll go ahead and we'll go from there. It's loading on up. And since we hit enabled when we were making this, it's automatically going to set our, um, our resource pack on. So I'm going to go ahead and left click with my scroll. We were already in world five. So just to kind of um, test and make sure that everything's consistent, I'm going to go back into world five. Uh, just to show you that it's mostly about proxy. It's not really all about what world you're on. So here we are. We're back in the exact same world, exact same spot. Um, still with a, a huge player list, right? We have 70 people online. And we are at 6 ping. So let's try to do something just to kind of prove a concept. And I'm going to go back over to where I was training at. And um, just kind of interact with the game a little bit. And you guys can see. But that's pretty much how this is. Um, if you found this helpful, feel free to go ahead and toss a like. So if I stand right here and go back to where I was going. Let me go ahead and attack these people right here. And we will just go ahead and see if anything pops up, if the ping changes, because we're testing for consistency right now. We just want to make sure that everything is working as intended. And he's dead. Let's go ahead and just try to loot as normal. Cool. And go ahead and bury the bones just to show everything works. Nice. Yep, per experience. All right, cool. Everything, and we're out. Let's see if we can get out without, you know, rubber banding everywhere. Still at 11 ping. Awesome. So World 2 is pretty good. Now, this would work the exact same way if we decided to go to World 3, and if you're in EU, you can always go to World 2, but I think US servers are the ones that are really struggling, so we'll hop into US 3 real quick just to see how they're doing today. But 11 ping, like, there's, there'd be no reason for you to really realistically leave that. Um, like, I, I'll probably head back to that. And then right back into World 5. Oh, it's going to kick me from World 5 because I keep leaving the game, so I'll go out and go back in and see if it fixes it. All right, and we are back into World 5. 69 on the line, 70 on line. Ping hasn't updated quite yet, but it's pretty low so far. We'll give it a second, or we'll just go ahead and just test it on our own by walking over here and just kind of watching how things are. 139 ping, so it looks like uh, Server 3 is actually, because it's the newer one, people are probably thinking that it's better, but Server 3 has got 139 ping. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much all that I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like and go ahead and subscribe, tell your friends. And if you are thinking about joining the server, go ahead and hit the video that shows how to install it. And you guys can even go ahead and type in slash referral edge bill. And that will be that. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment, helps the YouTube algorithm out a lot. And I will see you all in the next video.